Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Today, we'll be going through Hazy Maze Cave and Rainbow Ride. If you're looking for more details with complicated tricks, I'll leave the full 70 star document in the description. First, we'll see the clip for Hazy Maze Cave. Afterwards, we'll go through it in a bit more detail. So that there was the routing for Hazy Maze Cave. First, re-enter Snowman's Land and exit the level to make your way to the lobby. Now that you're in the lobby, make your way towards this door, go down the staircase and open the door again. Long jump and dive towards the door. And then go ahead and collect MIPS just like how he did the first time. Pick up the star, and then make your way to the right. Do a dive and a jump dive to make your way towards the doorway. Once you hop down, go to the right and talk to Toad. She should be able to give you another star. Pick it up and then do a side kick into the level. Once you drop down, press C down and C right to get the correct angle, and then perform three long jumps to the door. Now here you want to do a wall kick off this wall onto the platform on top. Now yes, I'm aware that double jump wall kick there can be a little weird due to the angle. You can of course just do a side jump wall kick up. Once you're up, perform a long jump in a diagonal off the platform onto the next one. Pick up your well deserved star. Go through the dialogue and then re-enter the level to collect your second star. Like you did last time, C down, C right and three long jumps. 
This time, you're going to perform a long jump and jump dive up ahead. Make your way past these boulders. These boulders can hit you, they're RNG dependent by the way. And then perform a triple jump once the last boulder goes to do a wall kick off the wall, jump dive up onto the platform to collect your star. You can of course just come over here and perform some wall kicks up to the top. Go through the dialogue and then re-enter the level to collect your third star. Follow the same movement once again, C right, C down, three long jumps. This time once you enter through the doorway, make your way past the bug towards this door. Once you enter, stand on the platform to make it go down, run to the right, bonk off the wall, and then stand in between the ledge here. There are four notes to make about this elevator clip. One, the reason why we bonk off the wall here is so we don't ledge grab and miss the platform. Two, we must be on the right side of the platform as it drops on top of us. Three, we must be hugged against the wall as the platform comes on top of us. And four, Depending whether we want to go to the star on the right or the star on the left will depend which side we push on. If we push towards the right side, we'll drop to the right side, and if we push to the left side, we'll drop to the left side. And now up to our last star for Hazy Maze Cave. Long kick into the level. Once again, replicate the same movements, and head towards the right side like we did earlier. Now there's two variations to collecting this star. The faster way is to do a triple jump, wall kick off this wall, over the ledge up here, onto the switch. Your goal is to make as little distance as possible when performing your triple jump. Tap up right to get the correct angle, jump and hold neutral, and then slowly push towards the right, top right side as you perform your double and your triple jump. Once you wall kick off the wall, you want to hold up left and jump dive to the left side to clip over the wall. The other method is to clip through the wall like we did earlier, however going to the left side this time. Make the platform drop down, and push towards the left side as the platform falls on top of you. This should clip you through the floor. Now the switch was never hit because we dropped down this way. Head towards the fence over here. Hold your analog stick towards the wall as you do a double jump and a kick off the wall. Once you perform the kick, hold your analog stick backwards so you fly towards the switch. If you did this correctly, this should press the switch. The kick against the wall and the analog flick can take a bit to get used to. Just practice it for a bit and eventually you'll get the hang of it. Make your way through the door, do three long jumps and collect your last star. And that was it for Hazy Maze Cave. Next, you'll see Rainbow Ride. I'll play the clip shortly and then afterwards we'll go through it in a bit more detail. Let's go!
Pickle. That there was the routing to Rainbow Ride. First thing first, enter Hazy Maze Cave and exit to get back to the lobby. Long jump up the stairs and enter the door. Jump to the top left corner, clip through the roof and enter the door once again. Head to the right and go up the stairs. Give the stars to the door and enter through. Now that you're in, head to the right side over here, wall kick off this wall up onto this ledge. Jump down the hall to enter Rainbow Ride. Before we begin with this, there's one thing I want to point out. Similar to Tortoise Mountain, how you can clip through the mountain to get to the top and save 5 seconds each star, you can do the same thing with Rainbow Ride. Doing this requires a pretty precise trick. It's not impossible and it's not too hard. However, it can be a little daunting at first. To perform this trick, you want to do a triple jump. As you land on your triple jump, you want to be as far as possible on the platform without falling off. After this, all you need to do is wall kick off the platform here. It's important that when you're doing the triple jump, Mario is facing forward, but the direction that he's moving is towards the right. Now with that out of the way, let's begin with the level. See right twice and long jump onto the pole over here. Climb up it and make your way up to the ledge. Once you land on the great platform, run as much as possible to pick up as much speed as possible to long jump over here in between the wooden planks to perform another long jump to the ledge. As you perform this long jump to the platform over here, you want to make sure your analog stick is mostly forward, only tapping very slightly to the right. It's important that Mario is moving at his max speed when performing this long jump. If you need to, you can do a turn here before performing the long jump. Once you're on this ledge, do some well-timed jumps and dives over to the platform over here. Once you land on the switch, these square pyramids will turn into platforms. If possible, perform a triple jump off the second platform onto the next one. This timing isn't the easiest thing to do. So instead what you can do is hop onto the platform here, do a double jump, or come to the platform here and do a side jump up. Once you're up on this platform, just head towards the star and pick it up. Now that you've got the star, hit save and continue and re-enter the level. Replicate the movement you did just earlier, long jumping towards the pole, making your way up to the platform, and perform the double long jump to the ledge. However, this time you want to make your way towards the right. Make your way up the slope. I perform a triple jump here, but you can do silly kicks if you wish. Make your way on the swing saw platform and head towards the star. Now that you've gotten your second star, hit save and continue and re-enter the level. Replicate the same movement we did earlier, C right twice, and long jump towards the pole. Climb up it and make your way up. You don't have to ledge grab in this area, but I feel like it's easy to get more consistent this triple jump with the wall kick when you're doing it from a neutral position. Keep in mind that as long as you don't do a firsty, which is a first frame wall kick, you should be able to make it up. Grab the red coin and do a side flip up. 
Long jump towards the ledge here, rebound off, using that speed to grab the coin to wall kick off back to the area earlier. Don't do what I did here and instead do a kick over. Come over here, grab the red coin and jump down to grab the other one. Be wary that there's a 5 hit down here that can burn you off. Grab the second last coin and do a kick back to grab the last one. This should spawn the star. Go ahead and run over and grab the star. If you fail the wall kick, you can do the wall kicks down here to get back up to the top. Go through and hit 7 continue to collect your last star. If you're doing this blindly for the first few times, I recommend to just hop on the carpet and let it take you up. Jump on the ledge here, cross over the other ledge to get to the pole. If instead you're looking to do the faster method, follow the movements as I do here. Replicate the same movement as we did the first three times. Come over to the left here and make your way down this pathway. Once you do dives, make your way all the way down, do a side jump wall kick and wall kick all the way up to the top. Once you get to the top, you want to align yourself on the right side of this ledge. Perform a long jump and as you wall kick off the wall, push your analog stick to the right. If you do this correctly, you should ledge grab up here. Now you want to do a double jump to get enough speed to make it to the platform over here. Once on the platform, move to the wooden planks and do a long jump over. Perform a second jump to the ledge here and then do a side jump onto the pole. Climb up the pole and then move your camera angle so it's in this angle. Move Mario a little to the left and then jump up to ledge grab. Do a single jump to double jump ledge grab. However, if you fail like it did here, you can do a side jump or a double jump off this last platform and long jump over to collect your star. You guys did an excellent job if you were able to keep up with that one. Practice up and then next we'll see you at the last two levels, TikTok Clock and Bowser 3.